Vanuatu is a nation located in the South Pacific Ocean, some 1,700 miles east of northern Australia. The archipelago has a population of around 235,000, scattered over 83 islands. The beautiful beaches and exquisite scenery are a tourist delight, but some girls on the islands are happy to leave and follow a different path. Two teams from Vanuatu flew to southern China to take part in the Sanya Open. Their Australian coach, Lauren McLeod, takes up their story. It's been amazing for the girls, um, the, especially our younger pairing, they've, this is their first World Tour event, uh, they've had a fantastic time, they've really learnt a lot about you know, the playing at the next level of volleyball, it's been fantastic to, you know, to mix with the elite players and you know, go shoulder to shoulder and really match ourselves against the best in the world. The girls actually won the Oceania Championships, so the um, IOC funded the trip um, to an extent so the girls can come and compete and get a chance to get a world ranking um, with hopes of now we get some exposure and now we get to raise funds for our next, you know, next onslaught of the tour. Another Australian, Debbie Wooster, is the team's coordinator who originally set up the volleyball program in Vanuatu. She also looks after baby Mary while her mother, Miller, trains. Good, talk to each other. The team has the skills, um, they can match, match it with the other teams, but it's, they're lacking the experience, so the more experience we can get, the more we can climb up the ladder. And I think they've just they've gained a lot of experience from this tournament, um, social experience, um, communication, um, you know, talking to other players, just the other things, not just on the court, but off the court, the environment, and so they've learned a lot. Players um, have come and just, you know, introduced themselves and, and welcomed us, so that's been very humbling and, and nice, yes. Behind all the smiles, there's a lot of fire. There's fight and there's grit and determination, so the girls will never, doesn't matter who they come up against, they're ready to bet themselves against the world. The emerging Vanuatu team head for Phuket next and the opportunity to gain more valuable tour experience. Well, in Phuket, both pairings went on to record their first wins. I'm very happy because it's our first goal tour and we win the first match and we were so excited. We came out here with the, the goal to learn and to win and we did it. <laughs> so this is the first time that uh, Vanuatu women have won a, a match uh, on world tour. And, you got to get those first baby steps out of the way before you can think about moving to the next level. So that's, that's what we came here to do and, and we've done it. Baby steps indeed for Vanuatu's fledgling teams, but even Kessie and Ross had to start somewhere. team, Vanuatu's top women's duo, as they enjoy Scandinavia and reflect on a successful Olympic test event in London. For me, it's good for play and get more experience at the other teams. There are many people in London, they support us and good crowd. We enjoy London. In London this event, we enjoy and we like London because it's a nice place and we enjoy to play at the level team, the high team. At their side is Lauren McLeod, a former player herself, who's now moved into the coaching side of beach volleyball. Her hard work guided Elwyn and Lynn to the final 16 in London. The tournament was fantastic. The girls uh, won a few games and got their best placing for the season with a ninth, so it was amazing. Her association with the girls began back in 2009 after an Olympic grant became the all-important stepping stone to the sport. The grant was a one-off payment um, to get the team started and get us onto the world tour so the girls could establish themselves as a, as a volleyball nation. 
Fast forward two years and to Orland, and the girls are developing the key attributes required to be a success on the tour. Mila, my blocker, she's absolutely fantastic. She's got great hand-eye coordination and she's a real natural athlete. She, you can teach her, she's a blessed to coach sometimes because you can teach her a training and she'll pick it up, she pays good attention and she learns very, very quickly. She's very quiet, very laid back, but such is the island style, that's not too, not too highly strung. Uh, Lynn is much more playful. She is just, she likes to be teasing people, having a laugh. I've never heard someone manage to laugh so often and she's a really great defender and she's exceeded every expectation we had and now we just get to push her a little bit further and see what she's really capable of. Being on tour has its usual demands, but the girls, who are also mothers, work hard to keep the balance between parenthood and courtside action. It's been a learning experience the whole time. It's been very tough. We've had uh, the baby's, one baby's first birthday while we've been away, so that was really hard for our youngest to go through. And uh, Miller's a little bit more used to it now. It's her second, second full season, so she's starting to be okay with uh, being mum and, and athlete, but it is, it's still a hard thing for anyone to do, and any mother especially. Being an inspiration to their children is one thing, and the Vanuatu team are also challenging boundaries back home as well. Underlying tone that we were trying to create through the volleyball program is to change the way women are being perceived in Vanuatu, give them some empowerment, some real positive female role models for the girls to look up to. And we're hoping that these girls will be the first female superstars on their island and to set a good example for their daughters, but also for other girls so they have some dreams and goals outside of just your traditional uh, female roles. And thanks to this team, beach volleyball is becoming popular back home. It's a fantastic sport to be in those uh, places where you don't have a lot of infrastructure or money towards sport. But it is, it's definitely a sign of what, uh, what, where the FIVB is trying to go, that we've got teams from all over the world competing because it is the world tour. So it's fantastic to have little nations being able to compete against some of the bigger powerhouses. As the tour grows, so will the players who've got the potential to be the really big stars of the future. Uh, they've improved out of sight. Our world rankings up to 72. I think we started at about 350th in the world. Yeah, I'm very proud of the way they've gone. Yeah, because I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, because I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, because I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, because I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, because I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, because I'm going to go to the next